New York Jets. Yeah. Yeah. So the black Twitter has been ablaze over the past week as women rationalize and try to explain and ask questions regarding the amount of black men that they saw with white women at the NFL draft, bringing up comments such as this one. Not even gonna lie, seeing all black athletes with hot girlfriends at every draft makes my blood boil. It's borderline shameful with follow-up questions such as this one as a black woman i just want to know why most successful black men choose to date married white women for examples athletes and actors by the way it's hilarious to watch badly worded questions like this as if the successful athlete is going to choose a woman who cannot spell Maybe it has nothing to do with your race because these questions usually come from their own internal insecurity or conflict and they establish the reason why as it's attributed to race. But looking at the way that this woman writes, it looks like it's education. But nevertheless, they're coming out of the woodwork with their complaints. They don't understand it. Oh, when they become successful, they just leave black women behind in the dust why are they just so mean and unforgiving we struggled with them why are they just going to leave us first off it's a complete fallacy that most successful black men date outside of their race most successful men and just men in general date within their race but what we see from these women is a negativity bias they are hardwired to establish most men or all men because they see a handful of them but instead of attacking ridiculous statements let's discuss of the ones that do leave said community why could that be why are all these black college athletes that are getting drafted having white women what's going on i am going to tell you as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I want to make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Megas Down Challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being Lotto. I said, probably only one. He said, okay. Yo, five of my guys that play on Division I Power 5 football teams and they start, they were like, goody, you know the type of NIL deals we got. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money, oh. Apple Pays and Cash Apps, for her hair and nails. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses, you're good for it. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women? They're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money. But while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite Kava bowl, double chicken, right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all are not paying for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails, they don't even care about the nails, really, oh. you know? And if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes, I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They were like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. We're flat irons. She wants to be special. 
Jesus Christ, guys are saving a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why these athletes are saving a lot of money is because I think a fundamental difference that the culture instills in the women of how to view and look at men. Notice that he juxtaposed the Megan Thee Stallion challenge in the beginning with how many women prescribe to that ideology that are black versus white. And at first I thought he only meant, why would you want a woman that demonstrates herself like a thought and a whore for public consumption? But he's also talking about the mindset here. Not all, not all, not all. But because of elements of black culture, black women are more apt to treat a man like a bank, while other races of women are more apt to treat a man like an investment. The treatment, the actions, the virtues are way different when it's bank versus investment. Just think about investment treatment. Let's take real estate investment, right? You have that home, you clean that home, you hire a gardener, you or you cut the grass yourself, you update the fixtures, you update the exterior, you add on an in-ground, someone pull into the back. Why? Because you invest in so you can get more out later. When you walk into a bank, you just extract. There's always gonna be exceptions to the rule, but what he's calling out here is the mindset behind the level of entitlement. Men that are dealing within their own race of women oftentimes have higher expectations. They're expected to put out a lot more with no increase on the value that they receive back. Let's go. My man said this, he just got drafted. He said, bro, I was dating a black girl. Now I'm dating a white girl, I'm about to marry her. He said, the difference between the black girl and the white girl, the biggest difference is the white girl knows when to shut the fuck up. I said, God damn. Listen, this is what they told me. Do with the information as you please. If it takes me 10 to 15 years to find a black woman that's compatible with me, that's what I'm going to do. But this is what they told me. So stop being surprised. In a culture where everything is over the top, the hair, the nails. You know what? It's not even just black women. It's just women in general. Do not understand is that men will go to the places and deal in the relationships that they receive the most amount of respect. And I say women in general because this interracial phenomena happens across all races. For example, there is a subset of white men that are known for going for Asian women, Asian girlfriends. They have their own reasons for doing that, but a major component of that is respect. But specifically within black culture, respect is tied to how you treat the men. What is your level of entitlement to the man? How on track are you of demonstrating yourself as what that man wants? Does the man respect your fake hair, your fake wig, your fake name? Does he respect your resting bitch face or your bad attitude? Does he want a woman with your level of entitlement to his funds when you weren't with him shooting in the gym? So when you get that rich, the white woman don't focus on you. Yeah, she go get all the money affairs and all to make sure the businesses run smooth, go get the charity, and the black woman be squabbling with you about your dick. Yeah, your black woman go squabble with you about your dick. White woman go go open charities up. Uh, starting doing book club and reading shit, uh, making sure she picked a accountant and financial advisor, and the black <laughs> gonna be one about who is that calling? Who is that? So that's why I ain't bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be stuck on the part. She ain't gonna never get the financial and business aspect of it. So I see why them niggas do that. Yeah. So you don't you don't think that makes them uh. What can I say? You, you, like they homie, sold listen, out. You, 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 you damn near have to. When you go to making the kind of money them making, homie, uh, uh, for one, uh, the the black woman, homie, she 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 a trip anywhere in in front of your 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 you know your business partner, and, and so he'll see he'll start saying, man, you can't control your woman, man, your woman will come, so he'll start not wanting to do business with you. Because your woman, y'all to be out together, nigga, your woman to catch attitude in front of his woman and wife and, and all about about being to be looking at your woman crazy because she and her feelings. Mm. The black woman, between the black woman and the black man, they and they feelings everywhere. Everybody else trying to have a good time, they go get in they feelings. Everybody else trying to conduct business, how the business is going to be so, that's why. Uh, that's why you see all the with a white bra, unless they've been with the woman for like Snoop Dogg, Denzel, D, you know, that's why. Uh, because nobody's training and, and teaching uh, black girls how to deal with successful black men. They just learn how to deal with hood. Uh, who, 
you, yeah, there ain't nobody's teaching and training them, homie. But what's also missing from a large portion of this conversation is that the men that were deselected by these women previously for being lame, for being corny, for being a clown, for being a nerd, for being not with the caricature of a black man should be essentially corporate Tupac, but then it became an issue when they became a high value man and when their hypergamous instinct kicked into play, seeing them on that TV screen. But instead of trying to figure it out, putting a mirror up to their face and trying to understand what has contributed to that man or this group of men's decisions, they instead just call them a racial epitaph, like a coon and just choose to write them off. At the end of the day, it's survival of the dating fitters out here in these cold streets. Men, listen to me. Choose who you want. Go where you are respected. And do not let anybody, especially a race baiter, withhold you from choosing what is best for you. Hey.